Welcome to Name That Plant, where we use various clues to determine what our mystery plant is. Due to this plant's distinctive leaves, we are instead going to look at the flowers first. From the middle of the low-lying leaves, tall flowering stems emerge in early spring. Growing to a height of 8 to 12 inches, a cluster of 4 to 10 white flowers called an umbel forms. Each flower has five heart-shaped petals that mature into a cup shape. Once pollinated, fruit pods develop. Inside the pods are 10 to 25 small black seeds. When mature, the pod splits, releasing the seeds. Besides the flower-bearing stem, the main stem of the plant lies low to the ground and is hidden by the leaves. The most distinctive part of this plant is its leaves. Basil or base leaves grow in a low rosette formation five to eight inches across. Petiole leaves, the leaves at the base, are heart-shaped. These lead to a modified two-lobed hinge leaf. This leaf forms a trap with teeth along the edges. The leaves have a green color with red internal coloration commonly occurring. Outside of using photosynthesis, this carnivorous plant utilizes a trap to catch invertebrates. Along the inside of the lobed leaves are six hairs. When an insect walks along the hairs, it triggers the plant to snap shut with the teeth edges interlocking, completely trapping the prey. Once closed, a red sap is secreted that breaks down and digests the insect. This is what gives the leaf their distinctive red appearance. The Venus flytrap, or Dianaea musipula, is found in the wetlands and coastal bogs of North and South Carolina.